Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, uh, yesterday I put out this video where I was talking about how social media changed the game. And I was saying that, you know, there was only one way that it's changed <laughs> the game. And that's, you know, people have access. They have more access to, you know, interacting with other people, right? And so I'm looking at the comments and I'm noticing that some dudes, you know, still don't get it you feel what i'm saying and i'm just like it's it's interesting to me because the main thing that i that i was seeing was guys were still talking about how you know women are getting more attention so that means the game has changed they're still thinking that that is what is making it harder for guys to get girls because they're like well girls are getting all this attention so then they're all gassed up so then it's you know their their expectations are super high and then so they can't get the girl, right? And I've been saying forever that if you guys understand how to be an attractive man, if your game is on point, right, you can get shit popping. Now, I saw this comment from this dude, uh, Julian Royale, and he, he said some, some, some real shit. He said, I hate to admit that he said i hate to admit that but the reality is media makes things even better for guys with game while guys without game have it worse because now chicks have access to more guys with with good game so guys with poor game stick out like a sore thumb conclusion is that game is even more relevant now with all the media I got to give a hand clap. I got to give a hand clap. Because, you know, <laughs> what's interesting is this. And, I, and I've been saying this. I've been saying this for forever. Is that if your game is on point, right, you'll get the girl. No matter if you're talking to the girl in the street. Are you talking to the girl on Instagram? If you're talking to the girl on Tinder? If you're talking to the girl at a party? Whatever, right? If your game is on point, you're gonna you can get girls in any of these situations. See, the the argument that I was seeing in a lot of the comments again was guys were saying, "Oh, but it, it you know it's it's harder and it changed because you know these girls are getting more attention." And what you guys have to understand is that the the more attention that they're getting isn't really them getting more attention. I think see, I think guys think that back in the day. For example, uh, you know, I guess women were probably getting hit up by like 10 guys. And now, because of online, she's getting hit up by 100. And then, because she's getting hit up by 100, that makes it harder to get with her rather than if she was just getting hit up by the 10 guys back in the day without social media. You feel what I'm saying? And what you have to understand is, is that it was still the same shit, meaning... That women, before social media, was getting a shitload of attention from guys. The same way with social media, they're getting a shitload of attention. The only difference is, is that we have social media now, and we didn't have social media before. Women were still picky as hell, because I, I, you know, I was reading people saying, oh, but women were, are more picky now. No, 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 no. Women been picky as fuck. Uh, I saw somebody was saying that uh, back in the day, women didn't flake. Yes, they did. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, what are y'all talking about? They're like, oh, they're more flaky now because of the social media. No, they were flaky back then too. You understand what I'm saying? Without the social media. But see, guys, when I have this excuse, and, and this is what I equate it to, and I, I wrote this comment on, on one, of the, uh, one of the comments, somebody, I, I replied to a comment and I said, because somebody was saying basically like, oh, you know, they have more options. It's more things going on, more people on their shit. So it makes it hard. I said, no, no, no. I said, it's basically a, the equivalent of, let's say you have a guy. That's like saying a guy who makes $50,000 in 2019 is richer than a guy who made, let's say, $10,000 in 1935. I'm gonna say it again. That's like saying the guy who a guy who makes fifty thousand dollars in 2019 is richer than a guy who made ten thousand dollars 
1935. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is, as time went on, people made more money. But guess what? When, as time went on, when people made more money, shit got more expensive. So in 1935, that guy that was making $10,000 uh, you know, a year or whatever, there was probably shit that cost 15 cents. Now in 2019, that same shit that cost 15 cents to that guy who makes $50,000, it probably cost $15 instead of 15 cents. So it's still the equivalent amount of, you know, uh, resources and, and the amount of, you know, money that they, each of those guys would have to spend and do what they got to do based off of the period they were in. So it's not that the guy making $50,000, uh, has more money and he's richer no he's the equivalent of the guy making ten thousand dollars it's just that with the guy that was making ten thousand dollars shit for him cost 15 cents and shit for the guy making fifty thousand cost fifteen dollars i hope i didn't lose y'all with that so what i'm saying and how do i equate this to the women in social media so what i'm saying is is that let's say back in the day when there was no social media and a, a week went by right a chick may have had, you know, uh, let's say 50 dudes try to holler at her, right? Now, with social media, she maybe had, what, like 200 guys try to holler at her and a, and a bunch of dudes like her pictures on Instagram and all this other stuff, right? What you have to understand is, is that the same way that girl will be picky with the 50 guys trying to holler is the same way she's going to be picky with the 200 guys or 500 likes on the Instagram and the dudes trying to get at her. She's still fucking picky. She's still going to be flaky. She's still going to be fickle. But guess what on the flip side is going to happen? That same girl who uh, had the 50 guys trying to holler at her, she's going to pick the best out of those 50 guys that, that she feels that she can get. Out of these 200 dudes, she's going to pick the best out of what she feels that she can get. You feel what I'm saying? My thing, what I'm saying to you guys, is that when you have game, but you, um, when you understand how to interact with women, it don't matter if she got 500 dudes trying to get at her or 50 dudes trying to get at her. When you are the best option, she will fuck with you. This is why I'm trying to teach you guys to be the best option. But see, dudes don't want to, they don't want to hear this. They just like, oh, well, you know, these, these girls out here, they only want, you know, these guys or that guys and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, how do you become that guy? Again, dudes is always on this looks, money, status shit. And, oh, you got to be super good looking. And, oh, girls don't want to, aren't going to want you unless you're six foot five with a six pack and have $10 million in your bank account and you have super high status, all that other goofy shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then so what happens is, is that, you guys don't understand what attracts women. So, like the dude said in the in the in the in the um in the comment, he said these chicks have access to more guys with good game, so guys with poor game stick out like a sore thumb. So the guys with the poor game are the guys who think that the social media made it harder for them. Because, oh, she has all these other, these guys checking her out, so now she's gassed up. The chick was gassed up before social media. The chick had a whole bunch of dudes trying to get out of her before social media. You understand? Before social media, a chick will go into a fucking, uh, 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 you know, party with a hundred dudes, and all hundred dudes is looking at her, trying to get at her. She leaves the party, she's, she's you know, uh, uh, you know, walking down the street, dudes is trying to get at her. She's at work, dudes is trying to get at her. She goes to the mall, dudes is trying to get at her. So you think because of social media, that made a difference in her already being used to niggas trying to get at her? Come on, guys, stop. Stop. And, and like I said in another video, at the end of the day, she's still going to want some dick. So who's giving her the dick? You understand? Ask yourself that. Who's giving her the dick? And it's not the guy who... It's not just the guys who are the, you know, best looking. Not the guys who have all the money. I know you're, you're all thinking about that. Listen, I work with a lot of Instagram models. And this is the funny part about that. 
a lot of the Instagram models, because you you guys already seen, you seen pictures of that that me and, and Miles uh, took with these models, and and you seen you know videos of us in Florida and in these other places, you know dealing with chicks and all this other stuff. A lot of times these models come there with their boyfriends, and their boyfriends are regular average dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, Jesus Christ, yo, oh, oh my God, it's like, I, I really want you guys to understand this, because like, I, I, you know, I had some dude, uh, what's the dude name, uh, Don Ragnar made another comment, he was like, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to, uh, you know, because you want to make a lot of money, you're getting all these beta male guys to believe that, you know, social media hasn't changed the game, or some stupid shit like that, right, so, you have you have guys out there thinking that I'm saying this shit like I'm talking out my ass. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to put you on to what's actually happening out here. I'm trying to put you on to actually how to get these women so you will stop having those false beliefs that the social media thing is making it harder for you to get chicks because then you're not, you're not going to even try to deal with women, period. Because not only are you not going to try to deal with women you know, online, you're probably not even going to bother to holler at chicks in the street at a, you know, at, at an event. You're not going to try to do nothing nowhere. Cause you're like, Oh, these chicks, they're getting so much attention and I don't want to validate none of these girls and yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, Oh my freaking goodness. I'm like, Oh my freaking God. So the thing is this man, you know, I just want you, <laughs> I want you guys to really, really, really understand what's going on out here. I really want you guys to understand this. Because once you do, and once you start applying this shit, when you, once you start applying the game, then shit is going to happen for you. Because I, I guess so I guess so many comments where I, I think the problem is is that dudes misunderstand the game. They misunderstand it. And so what happens is, is that a lot of guys, they're thinking the game is one way and then interacting with chicks or trying to make stuff happen with that mindset. And if what you're thinking is incorrect, then what's going to happen is you're going to, you know, try to do things based off of the wrong shit <laughs> this is what i'm trying to tell you guys man but um but yeah i'm a, i'm a, i'm up you know have to do do more of this stuff later man i just had to because i'm reading the comments and i'm like oh my god dude still don't get this they they i'm like y'all really think that before social media chicks didn't have all these dudes trying to holler that there wasn't chicks gassed up that you you know you understand there wasn't chicks flaking, what? Oh my goodness! And and you gotta understand something. A lot of these chicks online that get a bunch a bunch of fucking um um you know like like attention. Let's say on Instagram, the chicks that get the most attention on Instagram is really like Instagram model type of chicks anyway. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, a regular chick, even if she's like a, a a bad chick, she could be a dime. If she ain't no Instagram model, she ain't getting crazy attention like that. And there's a chick on my on my that I follow now that I know personally, and this chick is, you know, most dudes would say she's at least a nine. And this chick only got like fucking five hundred people following her. You feel what I'm saying? You understand? So it's it, guys. Get out here in the real world and see what's popping out here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. 
Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com